to my assistance, Lord, needs to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. As mighty maker, command, raised from the sea the solid land, and drove each billowy heap away, and made the earth stand firm for aye, that so with flowers of golden hue, the seeds of each it might renew, and fruit trees bearing fruit might yield. And pleasant pasture of the field. Our spirits rankling wounds efface with dewy freshness of thy grace. That grief might cleanse each deed of ill, and o'er each lust may triumph still. Let every soul thy law obey. And keep us every evil way. Rejoice each promise good to win. And flee from every mortal sin. O oh, Father, that we ask be done. Through Jesus Christ, thine only Son. Who in the Holy Ghost and be. To live and reign eternally. Amen. Jesus who descended is he who ascended far above all the heavens. Alleluia, praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne. Yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor. To set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus who descended is he who ascended far above all the heavens. Invoke the name of the Lord, wait for the day of his coming. Alleluia. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. 
They caught me sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your eyes, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Invoke the name of the Lord, wait for the day of His coming. They shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strong rule of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent, on a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. Of you my heart is spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon him or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way, on an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise again against me, breathing out fear. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart, hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord, you made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created <coughs> all things, by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. 
For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made us a kingdom. The letter to the Romans. Your love must be sincere. Detest what is evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another with the affection of brothers. Anticipate each other in showing respect. Do not grow slack, but be fervent in spirit. He whom you serve is the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient under trial. Persevere in prayer. will call me blessed. The Almighty <coughs> has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their tomb and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, 
to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Simile es regnum gelorum granos in Quod minimum est omnibus enibus, cum maudem creveri maius as omnibus Let us praise Christ the Lord who lives among us, the people hearing him, and let us sing. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. We thank you, Lord, because in Christ you have given us all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Kyrie eleison. O God, in your hands are the hearts of the powerful. Bestow your wisdom upon government leaders. May they draw from the fountain of your counsel and please you in thought and deed. The talents of artists reflect your splendor. May their work give the world hope and joy. You do not allow us to be tested beyond our ability. Strengthen the weak and raise up the fallen. Pray for Father John Trez, for Father Nathan, for all the teens of the Eagle Eye in Cary, Ohio, for all those who've asked for our prayers, especially for Bree, for Mauricio, for Scott Collier, for his healing, for uh, Brenda. And for Brenda's mother, who is celebrating her birthday. Um, and we pray also for the brothers who will be ordained this year, at the end of this month. Continue to pray for our authorities, for the decisions they have to make, pray for the works at the, at the RCH, for every worker, Son, you promised to raise men up on the last day. Do not forget those who have died. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who will proceed from you, I will renew the manner of life of hermits in your church, rather denying ourselves and following Christ we may marry to reach the heavenly realms on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of June the 20th.
the year of the Lord 537, the martyrdom of St. Silverius, Pope. Because he had refused to reinstate the heretical patriarch of Constantinople, disposed by his predecessor, he was exiled to the island of Panza in southern Italy by order of Empress Theodora. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.